Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Bruce here, and we've got a special uh, little commentary today. Uh, with me, I have uh, Bobby W223. We've done some uh, dual comms together, so you guys might know him from before. So, uh, Bobby, if you want to introduce yourself, say hi. Yo, yo, what up, peeps? Yeah, okay, and, and as well as Bobby, we've ha- we've got a new guest as well today. We've got a Brave Shadow, if you want to introduce yourself as well. Hey guys, Brave Shadow here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, so we really kicked it off. So really, today, it's all about, like, what is going to happen at E3 with uh, with Sony, and especially the uh, the new reveal in, in February, 20, 20 February. So what we're going to be really talking about is uh, what Sony's going to do, like, what they're going to reveal, our thoughts about E3, and uh, what's going to happen. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pass it over to Brave Shadow to, to kick us off. All right, so we got February 20th coming up, you know, only a couple days away. And so I, I think uh, this, because you have, because Sony's trying to invite all of its investors over, really get everybody pumped and hyped for the PlayStation 4. It really, Sony really needs this hype, considering that its main targets right now when it comes to getting people onto the PlayStation wagon are going to be people uh, in America. So they, they really need to do this, and I think this is a really good idea where they're going. And I believe that February 20th, you're not going to be able to – no no leaked, really leaked footage or anything, but there's going to be tons of leaked information, no doubt about that. So we're going to really get lots of uh, maybe not specs but features of the software and what it's capable of doing – and some of the online features, I think that's going to come with it as well. I think another reason they're trying to do this is to get like you know, ESPN on board because if you are a PlayStation gamer, you know that there's no ESPN on uh, PSN, but like on Xbox Live there is. So I think this is Sony's way of kind of okay, we know that there's more than just gaming going on on our consoles. Uh, way back they actually did uh, some research where actually. More people watch Netflix on PlayStation 3 on any other device um, when it comes to gaming devices. So that's like, you know, your computer, Wii, Xbox, PS3 is far, like, just right up there. So I I think this is a good move. I'm not going to expect too much to come from out of this meeting, but enough to keep people, like, keep our appetites wet enough to wait till E3. And then E3 is when we're going to actually see the stuff. So we're going to hear about it. We're going to hear all this awesome, juicy news. And then we're not going to see, like, pictures or videos or anything. But E3 is where we're going to see the pictures, the videos, you know, everything. You know, and maybe the people that were at this meeting on, you know, February 20th, are going to come up on stage maybe during E3 and just be like, yeah, we support the PlayStation 4. We support Sony. And, you know, this this is just, you know, this whole thing going on here where, you know, you got Kaz Harai who's managing everything that is Sony and also kind of backtracking the PlayStation because that's where he really, you know, reigned. That's where he came from. And I, I feel like right now with, you know, the stocks going up gradually, not – like crazy amount but gradually every day if you watch the stocks seeing all this positive you know reinforcement people you know talking about other sony products so i feel like sony is getting back on the right track again and i feel like playstation 4 is just going to be playstation 2 on steroids so (laughs) okay okay so 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 what do you, what do you think, Bobby? Like, what are your thoughts on uh, what's going to happen in February? Do you think they'll come out with the with the console, or do you think they're going to kind of tease us before E3? Um, yeah, I think on the twentieth, they they basically have to show the PS4. Like, like there's no way they would do this little tease just to be like, oh, here's the uh, pink PS3 uh, for uh, Europe and America. You know, it's like yeah. they have to do something big, but. Like they're not they're not gonna show everything obviously because you know we have E3 and things like that. Pretty much, I think that they probably will also probably talk about some stuff for the handheld as well. For, you know, for the Vita because the Vita everybody knows it's kind of struggling right now. Even though I, I feel it's a pretty good handheld. But bad, you love your probably, Vita, I have to say. <laughs> well, no, yeah, it's it's a good handheld. But they really gotta like show people why they should own one besides it just saying oh it's PlayStation or whatever. Like so they'll probably show some stuff on that first i bet and then towards the middle or towards the end they'll be like oh and here's the next iteration of playstation here's the here's the future of play you know which, which was the whole name of yeah. the the title of the conference here's the future of you know a playstation and they'll probably show the ps4 but they probably won't 
go too deep with it, but they'll yeah. probably show enough to squash the rumors and so people pretty yeah. much know what, what rumors are true, what rumors aren't true, and like what to basically expect for E3, but I don't think that they're going to show too many games. They'll probably just, you know, maybe, as long as show, Sony can show that they learn their lessons from the mistakes of the PS3 and things like that with, you know, at least like a, a good enough tease, I would say, with the PS4, that'll be enough to hold people over until E3 just to kind of show like, hey, this system is real, it is coming, but at the same time, we're still going to support the PS3 because that is one thing I will give Sony credit over um, Nintendo and Microsoft, more more so Microsoft than Nintendo, but Sony, they're known for supporting their old console even after they release their new console. Like the the uh, PS2, they just recently announced, I think within the last month, that they're uh, they're gonna stop manufacturing PS2s. The PS2 came out in like 2000. You know what I mean? It's been yeah, over yeah. Two years that they've been supporting this console. You know that's why it's you know the number one selling home console of all time and probably you know will will be you know um, forever you know, as far as we know. But anyway, uh, so they'll probably show like, hey, you know, we're still supporting the PS3. That we're not gonna drop support for that. But here's our next system. Here's what we're doing with our next console. We're you know they really gotta show us that they're ready for the whole so, so, social um, side of gaming because that's probably the one thing that Sony's been lacking is the social side, which I'll give Mike I will give Microsoft a lot of credit that they've kind of pushed console gaming to that next plateau far as social. They just Microsoft is kind of lacks in the game. So if Sony can show that, hey, not only do we have the games, but we also are showing you what we can do with our social aspects and being innovative and da 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 and kind of tease, you know, tease us with some stuff. And maybe talk about the specs and, you know, okay, these are the confirmed specs. And, like, so we kind of know, like, okay, this is the GPU they're going to use. Here's the CPU. Here's the kind of Blu-ray they're going to use or whatever. That'll be plenty for us, to, you know, to hold us over till E3. Of course, we'll get interviews and, you know, we'll hear, we'll, we'll hear about interviews and all that type of stuff, too, between then and uh, E3 as well. But, uh, yeah, they, they got to show the PS4. There's no way. I've, I've heard people saying that, oh, they're going to show the Vita and that's it. There's no way. They, ha they have to show the PS4. If they don't, they're going to get a lot of crap if they don't show that console. So, like, either a controller, some specs, like, a slideshow, something. They got to they gotta talk about the system in some shape or form. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much yeah, I mean, I I would more so agree with uh with, with Bobby. Like, I, I think I think both Brave and uh, and yourself, Bobby, you you have a you have some valid points. But I think I think they have to show something at the uh, on twentieth of February. Now, what I think is going to happen is they're going to have like a they're going to show maybe maybe pictures. I don't know if they're going to show any live demonstrations. I think, I think they're going to show pictures, screenshots. I think they uh they may say, oh, these are uh, parties that are supporting the console. But I think they're they're not going to blow. They're not going to spill all their candy on uh, in February. I think they're going to wait till uh. I think they'll they'll show show something on uh, February twentieth, and then they're going to wait till E three comes around and do the proper demonstrations. Have the, I'd say they'll have the console on stage. Now we could be all completely wrong, but if they were to do that after revealing the teaser trailer, I think that they'd be kind of kicking themselves, uh, kicking themselves in the foot because. They they they've set set themselves perfectly to do like a mini kind of a preview of the console in February, then do kind of a live demonstration of the console and get third parties to come out and say, oh, we're developing this game for for the console. And something interesting, I mean, I've been reading a few articles. They're they're going to have a apparently they're going to be making a new. Obviously, they're they're obviously going to go with these franchises because Uncharted uh, was such a big franchise. But but apparently, Naughty Dog is working on the next Uncharted. There's going to be a Killzone Four. Um, and also, I think Me Media Molecule is going to be doing another game as well for the for the new console. So I'm really interested to see what they what they bring on board. But um, I mean, in terms of a, another topic, guys, wh what do you think of the name of the console? Because there's a lot of things floating around. There's there's a uh, I think uh, the last article I read is uh, it's going to be called the Omni. So what what are your thoughts on that? Um, I'm I'm a uh, I mean I would prefer PlayStation Four, but I know that I think. Uh... I think it is uh, that four in Japanese is a uh, bad like omen He's or dead. something. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's not good, so they're gonna try yeah, to yeah. avoid that. <laughs> yeah, I would want to be calling the console that. Like... Yeah, so I think you know PlayStation Orbis is okay. We can yeah. just call it the so. Um, but I would just I would really just hope and pray that they stay with PlayStation Four because I think they're gonna alienate. A lot of people who kind of like grown up PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three, 
PlayStation 4. Okay. Or maybe if, if you know, it would be really cool if it's like PlayStation Evo, like, you know, short for yeah. Evolution or something. Yeah, that would be cool. But, yeah. you know, Orbis is the only thing that actually seems like it would make sense because of the Vita Orbis, you know, relation with the whole circle of life. And I think they're going to do more for the PS Vita coming this year, you know, putting more games like uh, actually the 28th of this month, actually, 28th of February, they're releasing a free MMO RPG called uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. So I'm looking forward to yes, that. Yes, I cannot wait for that game. I just had to say that. That's one of my most anticipated <laughs> games this year. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I suppose in terms of games, what what games are you guys looking forward to the most? Uh, kind of, kind of looking to see how they're going to make these games on the PlayStation, or I suppose the next PlayStation. Um, I guess let's go. Um, one one thing I'll say about the whole um, PS4 name uh, real quick too. Okay, I think what they should yeah. do is in Japan call it something else like PlayStation whatever, like some other name besides and to keep uh, keep the four off of it. But then in other parts of the world, and then they should still call it PS4 since that you know we're we're all used to being called you know PS1, PS2, PS3, and then you know obviously we we kind of expect. PS4, like I think even a lot of people, even if they don't call it PS4, will probably still just say PS4 just because that's just what we've grown so accustomed to. Like if you've if you've been with the the console since the first, you know, you know the PS1, you know, it's just kind of like we've grown so accustomed to calling it, you know, PS1, PS2, whatever. That um, yeah. I think like in, over in in America, Europe, you know, uh, South, you know, South America, North America, whatever, whatever. That they should still call it PS4, but then maybe like Japan and maybe a few other uh, countries over there, maybe there they can call it something else just to kind of, you know, not have to worry about the whole four death thing or whatever. I think that would be a smart way to do it, honestly. But uh, otherwise, I don't really give a shit what it's called. As long as the console's good and it's got good yeah. game, I'm going to call it the PS4. They could call it poop for all I care. <laughs> I'm going to call it PS4 because that's just what I've grown up since I was, well, like six six seven years old whatever all that was when i had my first playstation that's just what i'm used to calling it so that you know what i mean that's just what I'm, I, I'm gonna call it but uh far as games um well the big one is gorilla games i mean pretty much everybody knows kills on four yeah it's come because uh that that's they they said that they're developing i believe uh two or three games you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but i believe it was like two or three games that they've confirmed that they're uh, developing and things like that, and we know one of them is the Killzone game for the Vita, which looks uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, really, really good. I mean, not pretty, pretty good. But um, uh, and then I guess it's supposed to be uh, apparently some game for the PS3, apparently, and then the the third one or whatever is supposed to be a PS4 game. So it pretty much has to be P- a PS4, you know, Killzone 4 game. I would assume anyway. Um, and I believe that's probably what they're going to do. And they'll probably show that at E3. They'll probably be like the main, you know, tech showcase that they'll show. Because if you remember in uh, E3 05 or 06 or whatever, when they first showed the PS3, that Killzone tech demo, that was the main tech demo that they used to show off the graphics for the PS3. So they'll probably do something similar this time around with the PS4 and be like, oh, here's a demonstration of Killzone 4. Here's the first mission or whatever of, of Killzone 4. And here's what, you know, the PS4 can do, you know, whatever. The, that's probably what I predict. But uh, besides <laughs> that, um, so, let's see, so, so, so Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch might come out with like an Infamous 3 or a new IP because we don't know what Sucker Punch has been doing since Infamous 2, which came out in 2011. Uh, let's see what other. I mean, there's there's a few other studios. I know Mia Molecule is doing Tearaway, but yeah. that's not the entire studio. So um, the rest of the guys, we don't know what they're doing. You know, they could be coming out with like a little bit of Plant Three or you know a new IP or something. And you know, Sony's got a shit ton of studios. So I mean, there, there's probably some other games that they're, they're probably uh, you know have behind the scenes plus third party like Call of Duty, you know, of course, and things like that. But it, I think those on four will probably be the main the main one it's it's interesting because everyone's talking about the, the new console the playstation 4 but i'm just wondering do you think there's gonna be something that people didn't es- expect at e3 or didn't expect to happen with the uh, on february tw- on the the unveiling of this the so-called playstation 4 what do you guys think wait rephrase that question again so th- do you think there's going to be something else that's going to be uh shown at e3 that people weren't expecting rather than the playstation 4 virtual reality, man virtual freaking reality man <laughs> Matrix. Matrix. That is 
I swear, that's probably what they're going to show. If not, if they don't show the PlayStation 4, they're probably going to show that and be like, boom, this is coming out for the PlayStation 4. That's why it costs so much money. It would be a <laughs> lot cheaper, but boom, here you go. You can thank us later. <laughs> yeah, if it costs a lot of money, it better be separate. Yeah. So Sony can afford another. Yeah, there's no way. I mean, <laughs> imagine if you put a box of two together, it costs like a thousand dollars or something. Yeah, like that's like yeah, they they can't afford. I I think the the the, the PS the PS4 should come out. I think at about four hundred dollars. I think four hundred bucks with like I say maybe like a five hundred gig hard drive is is would be perfect. But any, anything else, I should be optional. Like, yeah, that'd be cool. I think that that'd be pretty dope to have that. But if it is that expensive, just from a business standpoint, I wouldn't do it. Now, from a gamer standpoint, just like shit that I would want, yeah, that'd be awesome to to do. I would love to do that. But my money, I can't afford something like that. I don't think Sony could afford to risk doing see, something that see. big that costs that much for the consumer. Because you know, people, you know, we're still in a recession, and people are you know looking for the cheap buy, you know. So they, they got to keep that in mind this time. They can't they can't go for that you know six hundred dollar console again. Well, I don't think it's going to be six hundred dollars again. See, this is my idea. You're going to have models of PlayStation Four, just like you know you have like the hundred sixty gigabyte and the hundred twenty, you know, stuff like that. I think they're going to do the same thing. So it's just going to be like this. There's going to be two. There's going to be one with basic accessories, and then you're going to have the one that's just like the full PlayStation pack. That one's probably going to be $600 while the other one's going to be $400. Oh, I gonna... <laughs> no, I, no I, and, I, and I hear you. I can see them doing that, but honestly, I don't think you... I, I just... I, basically, I look at it this way. I look at it like a biz, from a business standpoint and then from a gamer standpoint. From a gamer standpoint, that would be dope, and I would, I would give them props for doing that for people like us that would want that type of stuff. But I just don't think from a global... You know, standpoint that people are really are gonna flock to that when they see, oh, one one ver- one skew is you know uh, four hundred bucks and one six hundred. Just the way that gamers and consumers have seen seem to be this generation, just going off of this gen, I, I can't see people flocking to it just because of the price. You know, people are gonna be like, oh, that's cool, but all the way, you know. So it's 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 kind of like a double edged sword. It's like, yeah, I I will want that, but at the same time, it's like. I don't want Sony to waste money. I'd rather that money go into games and advertising so they can, you know, get these games out and, you know, keep, I'm not, I'm, keep quality I'm, games. I'm not sure in terms of, like, where – because the Wii U is pr- pretty pretty expensive compared to, I mean, its predecessor. So yeah. I'm not sure if it's going to be the same situation where – because the Wii U price – I think it's, like, $450. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, for, 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 for y'all, uh, probably, I think it's three and three fifty over here. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure over there. Okay, because I think it's around. Well, when I was looking at the box set, to get like two games and I think a controller, it's like five hundred euro. It's close, close to you know to five. So I'm thinking if they can, if they're going to be pricing their console at that level, what, do you think? I mean, I because it's it is getting close to a PC st- uh, standard of gaming because that's that's the whole movement I think because a lot I mean a lot more people are getting PC setups or gaming PCs so I think this new console is going to be designed to at least keep up not 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 uh, compete but at least keep up with the with the PC gaming side of things so I'm wondering will all consoles start going towards a trend where they're about 400 to 500 dollars and then, then you start seeing it scale up to 600 so i'm not i'm not too sure what what the price point is going to be that'll be an interesting thing to see at, at e3 the the same time with nintendo if you notice he's going off of the 3ds look at look at what they did when the uh, 3ds came out and it wasn't selling at uh 200 bucks or whatever it was at when it first came out nintendo dropped the price quick so if if you know if they keep this you know four or five hundred dollar bundle that, that they're doing if it's not selling i guarantee nintendo will drop that price fat like fast as they possibly can whereas with sony if they come out with like a 500 hundred dollar console or whatever they'll probably keep it like that for like a year or two and i, I just can't see people going for it you know what i mean it's like they'll, they'll probably be kind of scared like getting an, another high price con like unless they really have the games and the the features to support it they because like that that was kind of like more that was kind of the problem the ps3 as well not only was it expensive but it only had like one game and there was like no features so uh, it's like if they are gonna do that price they really gotta they really gotta advertise they really gotta drive home why this console is is, is over 400 bucks they, they can't just be like oh ps4 has got blu-ray at 100 gigs and it's 500 dollars 
no. Like, it, they they really got to show something that people are going to be like, oh, it's not like if it's yeah, that Omni viewer or like yeah. or some yeah. amazing I, game or I, a bunch I, of amazing games. They can't just come out with the system and that's it. If they're, if they're going to go at that price point. I mean, I, I'm just uh, I'm just hoping that they get the first the first consoles that come out right because I don't know how many people still have that fat PS3 because my one my after after a year and like five six months I got the uh, sadly the yellow light of death and then I got another fat PS3 and that got the yellow light of death so I'm just hoping to yeah. God that they get the first consoles right this time. That's what I'm saying. They they gotta they gotta think. See, like Microsoft can go a little more bold because just I'm not saying that Sony doesn't have a lot of money. But I, I see Microsoft going a little more bold because just for the fact that they didn't this generation where it's Sony, I'll be play I'll try to play it a little more safe. I'm not saying come out with like with like a, a PS2 you know level system. You know I mean I'm still I mean it could be a you know a powerhouse system, but there's no reason for them to do just 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 crazy you know amount of graphics because far far the whole thing with the PC. Yeah, they could come out with something right now that's up there with PC, but okay, like in a few years, the PC they're gonna have even more advanced parts, and like there's basically there's there's just no way that consoles can keep up with PCs in one generation because PCs they advance too fast. So it's like even if right now they can be on par with the PC in the next few years, it's not gonna be like that anyway. So it's just like in the long run, it's like is it really smart for them to go expensive from the gate? And do it like there's. I can look at it from both sides and say yeah. yes, and no, because you look at the PS3, I can say yes. If you look at you know the games now, we can definitely you know we've been able to you know the, the gap between the Xbox and the PS3 as far as graphics, but has it really helped them? The PS3 just now has just barely outsold the Xbox. You so, know what I mean? It's like so has it has it really done anything for them? like Sony just announced this year that they just started making profit. Yeah, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, we yeah we can see the graphical difference, be, you know, because they made this expensive console from the get go. So eventually, we we got these amazing looking games like Uncharted and God of War and you know Gran Turismo and Heavy Rain. It's like that's awesome, but it's like, what did it do for them? It's like, yeah, that's great for us, but what did it do for them? And it's like, if the company's not doing good, then we're not gonna do good because they they can't make any games for us. So I, that's that's the way I look at. It. I got you know I look at both sides or whatever. So it's like. I would want this way powerful console, but at the same time, I don't want them to just come out with this expensive system that nobody buys because they're not going to get any games, you know. So it, it kind of sucks, but I'd rather them come out with like a four hundred dollar console and just come out with a whole bunch of games for it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, here here's a question for you: with the whole uh, GTA delay for September, do you think that uh, Rockstar is going to come out on stage and start playing GTA Five or demonstrating it at E3. That's 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 something that kind of just popped hmm. in my head. Well, Rockstar, if you know, they they never do E3. Like like you think back the last few years, yeah, when they, they've never been. It, so. Well, they they kind of have with Microsoft when when they unveiled like uh, GTA come into Microsoft and yeah. But, well, I think that was, that was Microsoft just saying. I don't think anybody. From, yeah, that's true. Current, I, I, might, I, might, I might might be wrong, but no, no, that's true. That's true. I think Rockstar. Yeah, yeah went there so right they might like show like on their usually rockstar just kind of has their own things yeah but so probably won't it'd be that'd be awesome but i mean you i mean uh i mean you, I'll, let, I'll let brave i'm kind of <laughs> yeah <talking>. brave <laughs> what are your thoughts sorry we could have talked sorry about. okay ba- okay I, I just want to rewind way 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 <laughs> Way, way back. Yeah, I need to say something about what I was saying, so yeah, I'll let you go ahead. I said that there'd be one affordable console and then one like deluxe console, right? Yeah. So yeah. on one hand, one is four hundred and twenty dollars. The other one's probably like maybe five hundred and twenty, or maybe you know, riding almost on six hundred or maybe five fifty. Well, now the difference the between both of these, just wait. The difference between both of these. So say the original, just like, uh. Not premium version, but the standard will you know come with a headset, come with the uh, AVI cables, your PS4, and then maybe uh, a controller, the con- charging cable, just your basic necessities, right? So it's like you don't need the other stuff, but it's like you know Xbox where you buy the Xbox that has Connect with it. Except on this on the this end, the premium version that's going to be like maybe 500, 550. Is going to come with the Omni Viewer, so that virtual reality like headset, you know, and then that's going to be packed in there. That's what would kind of count as a price. It comes as a bundle, and then you maybe get another controller, another charging cable, maybe another mic for your friend when they come over, you know. 
That's what I was thinking of. They're probably going to do something like that. If not that, they're just going to do what they've done before where it's like, you know, the only really difference between this one and this one is the memory store, you know. But I feel like, you know, they can do more because I think, you know, if you see how Microsoft puts out their consoles, it's like, what's the difference between this one and this one? It's like, well, that one comes with Kinect. That one doesn't. The one with Kinect has this much space. You know, there's the arcade version. It's like each version has like a really distinct difference. But with the PlayStation, it's like you have, you know, maybe the one that has PlayStation Plus with it and then one that doesn't. You know, and that that's pretty much all there is. Just recently, like this year, this past year, 2012, did they actually start making like these packs, these bundles where it's like, you know, it comes with like, you know, Uncharted 1, Uncharted 2, and then Uncharted 3 and stuff like that. It's like, the you know, bundle, the eye camera, the move, and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, I, I, I'm aware that we're kind of coming, uh, coming to a close. <laughs> so let's let's go around the table. Let's do this. Let's let's uh, each come up with our what we, what our predictions are for E3 for for Sony. What do you guys expect to see? So we'll start with Brave Shadow. Wait, what do I expect at E3? Yeah, from Sony. Okay. Um, obviously, an announcement of the PlayStation Four, something that everybody's going to be like not really surprised by, but I think what they're going to be surprised by. I mean, just think about it. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, Sony's in a bad position. You know, just so so much crap is coming towards Sony. And it's like, yeah, a lot of stuff is bad. But they're actually in a pretty good position if you, the way you look at it. Now, think about it. Think of this generation that the PlayStation went through is like a learning process, right? So next generation, they're not going to make the same mistakes. With that, think about all the things that came out in this generation. We have tons of more... IPs that came out this generation that will more than likely be ported over next generation and then even more new IPs. So we know, first off, you know, games are always going to be great. All right. Second thing, hardware is always going to be great. I did a video about the hardware just based on the specs. B because of the GPU switcher, you know, having two GPUs in the PlayStation 4 would definitely just kind of just shrink the competition basically so oh gosh i lost my train of thought so yeah this whole generation was a learning process but think of it think of it just we have all these exclusives you know take all the exclusives put it in a place like put it just like mentally put it like in a little category all right so we have our exclusives right we have you know the mistakes that we made but we're going to correct them all right so imagine what it would be like this generation, if all the mistakes were corrected, because that's what it's going to be like next generation. All the mistakes are going to be corrected. We're going to get all those titles that we love because all these titles that came out like during this generation were really new. So nobody can really grow attached to them or be like, oh, I remember that one time when I played that game. You know, Uncharted is still new. You know, Little Big Planet is still new. But the next generation, that's when they can kind of reminisce and it'll build up that fan base just like you have mario with nintendo and halo with xbox it's just it's going to build up you know what i'm saying so okay. i think everything that's going to come next generation is just going to build upon itself and only get better okay so your your prediction for sony is we'll, we'll definitely see the console there uh do you think we'll get a price point well we we already have an estimated price point which okay. is forty thousand yen in uh japan uh, 420 bucks in U.S. currency, and then uh, 270 pounds. So, so do you think that's going to be finalized, like officially announced at E3, or do you think they're going to kind of leave the pricing, just kind of give a demonstration, and I then give a pr price point in the next I think month? The or? price is going to be at E3 because if they give away the price now, people are going to start making their minds up right away, just based on the price. Okay, I'm gonna move quickly to Bobby. What are your predictions? Kind of give us, just give us a brief, your like summarize your thoughts really for Sony. For yeah, I know, I know you gotta go. I'll try to run through this real quick. Um, as far as the bundles that Bray was talking about or whatever, um, I, I could definitely see them doing that and showing that at E3. 
Um, what what I would rather them do, even though I'm not trying to say that that's your wrong, like you could definitely like be way like 100 right, like it actually makes a lot of sense what you were saying about the bundles. But I think what they should do, you know, Sony won't do this because we're in a skew generation, is just do one skew and then just say that hey, this OmniView thing, if you want it, you can get it separately, kind of how like Microsoft did with the Wi-Fi thing back in like 05, how you could buy that separately. They should do something like that and just have like a, a 400 console and then say like buy this now and then maybe on your next paycheck or later on when you can afford it you can get this this and this with it that will sell separately there's that whole bunch of games new ips uh old ips like uncharted a little bit playing like you were saying that they can reminisce on i definitely agree with that they also probably show some new ip new ips for some of their other studios that haven't done anything in a while on um, third party which they really gotta you know get the, the, the um third party back from microsoft that's very important um, they'll probably show some features with um, with, uh, with um, their different companies that, that they've been working with, with like and, and Android and stuff like that. I know that they've been working with Android with the Vita. The Vita actually runs on an Android operating system, so so the PS4 will probably have an Android operating system as well. They'll probably still show a lot of features for that. More games, more games, more games. Yeah. Probably <laughs> a, price, a price point. Probably yeah, around four to five hundred bucks. If it is five hundred dollars, they probably will do what you said, Brave. Otherwise. 400 bucks with a bunch of shit that's probably just separate along with it um and a bunch of montage trailers because that's what sony does usually and that oh uh, they'll probably show a little on the vita but they'll probably unfortunately ignore the vita like they did last year but they'll probably show a little bit of, like kill zone vita and things like that and then a bunch of ps3 stuff like beyond two souls will probably get a release date but maybe show maybe show gta or something like that you know we, we don't know they could they could show that as well that'd be awesome uh, and maybe the controller for the PS4 because the PS4 is supposed to have some kind of like touchpad controller, not like the Wii U, but more kind of like a touchpad, kind of like the back of the Vita. So in a nutshell, games, 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 <laughs> games, features, price point, explosion. <laughs> it's a great way to end it. All right, quickly, well, my thoughts, uh, February, I think they're going to obviously announce the new PlayStation and PlayStation 4. They're going to show some screenshots, maybe some information. But I think the big event will be E3 where they're going to come out with the PlayStation. I think the, the main driver will be the console. I think they're going to have a demonstration of the console. They're going to provide us with a price point. They're going to provide us with a... I, I don't know how many bundles they'll do, but I think they'll at least have two different bundles. Because they, what they tend to do is they start off with one bundle package and then they, uh, after some time, Time goes by they introduce a new bundle introduce a new bundle but i think going back to point brave shadow made i think he's w- uh, very very on the spot there uh, in terms of the learning curve i think the, this generation has been a learning curve for sony uh, and i think they're going to improve upon it i don't know if they're going to execute it perfectly but they are going to improve upon it so in my thoughts we're going to see sony's console we're going to see new ips like you said bobby i think we're definitely we have to hear something about the guardian that's something we haven't spoken about but the guardian is something that uh or the last guardian excuse me is something that they really oh, yeah. have Point, yeah they haven't they, it's just gone completely disappeared so hopefully they come out with that as well um so yeah to summarize demonstration new ips old ips uh, price point and hopefully something different something to differentiate it because i know each year they have at least one thing that we we didn't expect so uh yeah guys thank you very much for uh for, uh, for joining the for sequel joining. sorry I, no 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 I, I said wonder book the sequel will be at e3 oh yeah hopefully <laughs> Uh, well, well, yeah. I mean, it, yeah. Well, hopefully, we see we see something that we didn't expect because I don't want to, you know, do, I don't want to get uh, in a situation where we're all expecting the PlayStation Four and there's nothing that really makes us stand out. So, uh, guys, I just want to thank you real quick. Uh, thanks for for coming together and for doing this. And guys, we don't worry. We are going to be doing Microsoft and Nintendo and hopefully third party. So this is the first episode to a few. Uh, so, guys, if you have any final thoughts, uh, kind of uh, drop in there. I'll um... go ahead, Brit. <laughs> Please don't fight over each other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess like my final thought is, you know, Sony is going to do good. I have, I'm like 99% sure that next generation Sony is going to rock. Like they're going to be good, both software, hardware, just social gaming wise. The only thing that isn't good is the fan base, you know, trying to, take the fan base of Microsoft and try to bring them over to the Sony side. That's Sony's main like objective right there is just to bring them over. Cause I think they have no problems with actually, you know, providing good software and doing all this next generation. Cause they've learned from their mistakes, you know, uh, them, you know, getting this publicity stunt kind of thing going on is just one step towards 
a new PlayStation, you know, a new Sony, a new just company, everything all together. It's just so their main problem is just actually bringing them over because I feel like we're going to have this really awesome console that nobody plays because they don't know anything about it because it's foreign. It's different from what they're used to because most people play Xbox. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, cool. And uh, Bobby, you got anything else to add? Um, pretty much if they don't copy Nintendo, they'll be okay. It's like, like what you said, they just you do something different. I think if they can bring, um, home, uh, you know, PS home or whatever over to the, over to the PS4, that that could be that thing to kind of separate them from Nintendo and Microsoft or whatever. Yeah. Um, otherwise pretty much anything that Brave Shadow said, just, you know, bring out the games, bring the software, uh, you know, you know, software, uh, hardware, all that stuff. And they should be all right. Cool. And guys. Fan base. Guys, so uh, we're going to wrap it up now. I want to know what your thoughts are. Drop a comment below as to what you think uh, Sony's going to do for E3 and what we expect to see uh, in the announcement in February. So, uh, yeah, leave your comments below. If you did enjoy this series, um, I appreciate anyone who drops a like, you know, leave it, uh, drop a favorite. And I will have a link to both Braves and uh, Bobby's channel in the description below or, or probably an annotation as well so you can check their channels out. And, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this episode and we'll catch you next time where we're going to discuss uh, Microsoft and how it's going to fare at E3. So uh, thank you guys for joining me and peace. Ooh. There we go. <laughs>